What was even the purpose? The Matrix Resurrections literally tries to tell you this film was forced to happen because Warner Bros. was going to make it regardless. I have a better idea. Don't do anything with the property. The story concluded almost 20 years ago. Let it rest. Do not bear this responsibility. I don't know who at Warner Bros. thought this was a good idea, but how does it feel losing your company over $200 million? Could have dodged that bullet, but whatever, here we are. The Matrix 4 takes place 60 years after Revolutions, and a lot has changed. Zion is gone. Again. And both Neo and Trinity are alive. Somehow. Apparently, the machines can now revive dead tissue and rebuild humans. I am not touching that can of worms. Anyway, Neo is brought back into the fold, and shortly after, he, the agent version of Morpheus, and the remaining unmemorable cast set out to free Trinity as well. Yes, yeah, spoilers, because I do not care. You heard me right, Morpheus is an agent. Apparently he died at some point and was downloaded into the Matrix, even though he doesn't have anything to offer the machines. Even changing actors and mannerisms, probably because Lawrence Fishburne read this script and choked on his coffee. Stock footage? The hell is this crap? We aren't the Showa-era Gamera films. If this wasn't bad enough, the other characters who came before that have no real relevance now return, like the Merovingian. This dude is in one scene and all his dialogue is spit out in such rapid, high-pitched gibberish that it would burst Martian brains. Even Smith is back for some reason. I, I, I just don't get why the, the new analyst in charge of the Matrix would allow a program like Smith to exist again for some reason. Uh, whatever, if this film feels like ripping off off everything the prior films did with the same skill level of a college-educated Starbucks barista, then go ahead. I'm not the one who made less than $10 million for Warner Bros. on opening weekend. I really feel bad for anyone who lined up at the theater looking like Neo reminiscing about the awesome fight scenes of the first and third films, because those don't exist here. Keanu Reeves is pushing 60 years old. He can't do as much as he used to. It doesn't matter who it is, Arnold Schwarzenegger to Jackie Chan, they're all getting older. So when they fight, it concerns me because I'm worried they're going to break a hip. And the film tries to cover this lack of fisticuffs with overdone and repetitive force pushes. Not that there isn't hand-to-hand -hand combat, but what is here is not worth remarking, and these awkward force pushes Keanu does just they feel so lazy. At one point, Morpheus ends up shooting his SMG directly to his side, and one of the guards ten feet behind him falls over dead. After all of this being said, I'm more interested in the universe's real world more than the plot. Apparently, there was a schism among not only those who lived in Zion, many of whom left to create the new Io, there was a divide among the machines? Apparently, there are new machines that look more streamlined in their appearance who are in a civil war with the other machines. That's so much more interesting! Interesting. Could you imagine people willingly want to go into a new Matrix to feed a machine to combat another machine from inside and the dilemma of choosing between security and freedom? That has so much more potential for civil discussion with modern relevance. Like an entire film focused on what Cypher was talking about in the first. And while I do appreciate the ultimate message of the film, the overall execution was a mediocre hodgepodge of the previous films with the collective intelligence of a billy goat. Matrix Resurrections makes even reload loaded look good by comparison. The fight scenes are slow and poorly choreographed. The dialogue is truly awful in some cases, like Bugs going on one of her incoherent sugar-fueled rants that makes Yahtzee sound slow. The special effects aren't so special, and despite trying to have a message that's quite agreeable, it is counterbalanced by the idiotic and backwards choices of the people both inside and out of the Matrix. And again, the unrelated world building pulling your attention from the story at hand. Now, thanks for watching. Please like, Share, ring the bell for notifications, and if you want to watch more movie reviews, then subscribe and check out my review of the admirable Spider-Man No Way Home at the link over there. And I'll see you in the next video.